Colleen, 2023-CR3443, State of Texas versus Larry Everett Berry. Can I have the parties announced for the record for the state? Jason Berry. Defense? Todd Coronado. And are you Mr. Berry? Yes, ma'am. All right. Did you review the document entitled Motion to Revoke Community Supervision with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, ma'am. Are you the same Larry Everett Berry who was placed on community supervision in 2023-CR3443? For the offense of possession of a controlled substance penalty group one less than one gram on November 16, 2023, for a term of two years. Is that you? Yes, ma'am. All right, state. Yes, Your Honor. By the condition number 41, on about the 24th day of July 2024, Bear County, Texas, the defendant Barry, Ever Barry, the new mayor of Bear County, complied with the rules and regulations of non drug court violation condition number 41. How do you plead to that? Sure. No objections, no objections, no objections, Did you understand by pleading true to violation of condition 41, the court could find it true, grant the motion, sentence you to 16 months in the state jail facility and up to $2,000 fine? Yes, ma'am. Knowing that, do you still wish to plead true to violation of condition number 41? Yes, ma'am. Court will find violation of condition number 41 true. Is there a proposed agreement? There is, Your Honor. Yes. And there's the result the individual on community supervision. Before the underlying sentence for 180 days in state jail facility. That is agreement, Your Honor. Okay. And why should I give him the minimum? He would like to address that. All right. Can you raise your right hand? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth so help you out? Yes, ma'am. All right. You can lower your hand. State your name for the record. Larry Everett Berry. All right. So why are you deserving 180 days? Um, due to the fact like. I got medical condition. I just came or I just got out of the hospital a couple of weeks ago. They diagnosed me, said that I got bronchitis, uh, bronchitis, fungus, lung from cancer. I mean, it's infection in my lungs. They did some autopsy. They did biopsy on my nose where you cut a piece of my skin off too. And it's like, I mean, I mean, I've been doing everything that you told me to do. I mean, complying. I mean, I have been doing my classes. I've been reporting to my probation officer, but now they changed my probation officer to me. Well, so no, because they're saying that you didn't comply with felony drug court rules. So what rules are they saying you they, didn't comply with? Okay, the day that I went through, I was there at drug court. Um, Sarah Puente has asked my phone. She came, she just did her home bitch at my house. And she said, I, everything, I was doing good. And I did my community service like Judge uh, Glenn told me to do. I've been doing everything. I've been reporting to uh Center for Healthcare. They just came to see me again. I first see some lady named Miss Betty. She said they could report to her when I get out. But my um, probation officer, she said, let me see your phone. And I gave her my phone. And then she set it down when she said, some, I guess somebody must text my phone as start uh, no, 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 no. Let's back up. So what was in your phone? She said something about some pills. That's what that was, it was all about. It wasn't no pictures, no nothing. It was a he say, she say thing. And then. What do you mean he say, she say? Whatever they said is what they trying to, they trying to think I'm, I'm out there doing something. That's what exactly was over with. All right. So here's the thing. I've been an attorney in felony drug court before. So if they found something on your phone, they actually showed it to you. So did no, they, they, didn't show, they didn't show it to me. They, they came out and told me. So you're telling me they didn't show no. you anything in your phone? No. So if they zoom in and want to testify, they're going to say, we didn't show him his phone. No, they didn't. They took my phone, went to the bank. The only person that came out and told me was some lady, um, Tammy told me, she said, yeah, somebody got some pills and this, that, no, they didn't show me nothing was in my phone. At all. They put me in a jury box and they didn't, they didn't judge me and say, you're going to jail to further notice. That just sounds very odd to me. And yeah, they ain't showed me nothing about my, they ain't showed me nothing in my phone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's my question. Um, do you want me to um, have someone from Felony Drug Court zoom in? So we can see what's going on with this phone conversation or lack thereof? You can, because I, I no, I mean, not I can. Is that what you all want? Well, I believe he pledged true to the fact that he did not complete felony drug court. 
and that's where we're at now. So, so do y'all want me to have someone zoom in from felony drug court to say, to talk about this phone thing, since he brought it up under, you know, his speaking to the court. Sure. Okay. All right, we'll have somebody from felony drug court zoom in. Um, We're back on the record in 2023. CR 3443, State of Texas versus Larry Berry. All right. Uh, defense, did you have a chance to speak with uh, Felony Drug Court? Yeah, Your Honor. Is there anything you wish to add? I was just, oh, excuse me, informing uh, Mr. Berry that uh, there were texts uh, to his phone and then from him to whoever it was that more than what he had alleged before or not acknowledged before. So he said, yeah, that was, that was true. There were more texts than he had said. All right. Uh, the court is going to grant the motion. The court is going to sentence you to, uh, well, the most I can sentence you to is 16 months. The court is going to sentence you to 16 months in the state jail facility, give you credit for any time served. There's a $2,000 fine. Time and money will not run concurrent. All right, did you review the document entitled uh, Trial Court Certification of Defendant's Rights to Appeal with your attorney? Did you understand it? No. You have a limited right to appeal. That right to appeal is as it relates to the allegation and the motion, not the fact that you are on community supervision. Do you understand? All right, because this is a felony conviction, you're not allowed to own or possess any weapons or ammunition. If you have a question over what a weapon or ammunition is, you'll need to speak to an attorney, do you understand? So I got 16 months or six months? 16. Credit with, I... Uh, I'm Legally, I must give you credit for any time that you've already served, so you'll re receive credit for that. Uh, is that way I'll get credit like the 80, 20 or something? Like... Oh, what will end up happening is I'll receive something, and if I think you're deserving of that, then I will give it. If I don't think you're deserving of it, you will not receive it. So this is like state jail or Yeah, this is state, state jail. jail time and state jail time is day for day. Oh. All right, good luck to you. And uh, he's saying that he has medical issues. So I'll... Yes. He's got the... Sure. They, the I just came from University Hospital. That's what they said. Okay. They got me on medication for the next three months. I'll put you therapeutic community with... Um, for medical. All right. Yeah, I mean... I mean, I'm, so, I'm sorry I messed up. I mean, I take full responsibility though, because I got a baby on the way. Down. But here's the thing. You came before me and you were not taking full responsibility. You were being dishonest with me. No, I was. I was doing everything you told me to do, ma'am. I did. I was doing all. Okay, so things. here's the thing. Let me ask you this. Just, did I tell you to sell drugs? No, I did not. But I wasn't selling That's drugs. what you were doing. No, I wasn't. So, it was just don't, don't it was my phone. I wasn't selling no drugs. Okay. All right, so that's the court sentence, and you had a chance to do well in felony drug court. That's a great program, uh, but you chose other paths, so that's why you're going to the state jail facility now for 16 months. And if you do have a child on the way, I would suggest that you change your life so that you can be someone that your child can be proud of. You understand? All right, good luck to you. Uh, your attorney will let you know.